I am so excited because the delivery person came. Is this cool or what? I've got a surprise in here. All right, check this out. Whenever you get a surprise like this, you know, one of the things that you have to do, you gotta get the tools to figure out what's gonna happen in there, right? So I got all my tools together. We got some cutters. We've got a, maybe we'll have to cut, cut some pipes. So who knows? Pruners, you never know what's gonna be in the box because you have to just go like that. I'm gonna have to persuade it a little bit. All right, let's see what's what. Well, this one we know we absolutely need because it is for cutting the top over here. And let's open it up. Let's open this up. We're gonna be so excited. <gasps> paper! Look at the paper! No, 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 paper. Paper. Oh my. <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this is what I got. I got a box! <laughs> it's perfect! Actually, it's that much perfect because what I see right here, I have never used in my life and it's so paramount to have something like this for every gardener because I'll explain in a second because there's something in here that I have to show oh my I have never used one of these in my life as well this is cool ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves some cheap and sprayers here check this guy out this one right here is a backpack sprayer. Can you imagine for those of us that are in the ag uh, division of whatever we're doing or horticulture, how, how awesome this would be? Look at, uh, especially for landscapers, if you're in that mode of the, where you're gonna be spraying vinegar around, horticultural vinegar, really important. Uh, use these cheap and sprayers. And the reason why you wanna use them is because the materials that they make these out of are designed to handle the corrosiveness of what vinegar has to offer. So let's open this up and let's see kind of right where we're at over here. This is really cool stuff. I've never ever used one that was labeled like this. This way you can't make any mistakes. Okay, so it looks like we have a, a wand right here. And this right here is a, uh, looks like a handle. And, oh, they have a thing over here. This is a warning. Improper use of failure to follow the instructions. You know, so you want to make sure that you have the right protection when you're using this. That's real important. Because you're using vinegar, right? And you're not using just any vinegar. You're not using household vinegar. You're using horticultural vinegar. Much stronger. We're talking 3% versus 75% horticultural vinegar. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's pull this open. This right here is a part. So, it looks like we really don't need any of these parts. I need it, but still. The second I opened it up, I'm thinking, man, that's way, that's way too many parts there. Most of this stuff you can do by your hand, do by your lonesome. Um, this right here is the, the trigger. Oh, look at, see, this trigger thing has this little safety catch thing. And and it's it's up when it's, See that? You can't press it down. You need to pull it back like this. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get another shot of that. That's important. So, you know, it's like this to hold it back. And then right here, you're taking it. All right, so we're going to put the wand on it. And before I put the wand on, can I do this? I'm going to put this end on first. Let's see. Let's see the picture. That's what we want to do. Put this in the picture. We're going to go like this. Put this on. Well, important and then this right here also important you know you're gonna end up taking and pumping this thing up you're gonna be you're gonna put a lot of pressure in there that's real important so we're gonna put this part so that it's downwards because you don't want to be spraying vinegar upwards you, know, you don't want to go like that you're gonna be spraying the weeds Always check the insides to make sure there's no other extra paperwork in here. Hello, hello! No paperwork, it's empty. See that, nothing inside. But we're gonna put water and vinegar inside of this. Here, this looks like a handle. So everything is so self-explanatory over here. Isn't this great? You know, these guys, they do the R&D on this. That means research and development, and they know what people want. I mean, Chapin's been around for a long time. I'm telling you right now, 
they know what they're doing when it comes to sprayers and rigs for agriculture, horticulture, business, and homeowners. This right here is a pressure relief valve. Lift that up when you need to. We're gonna crank that on. Okay, we've got our backpack sprayer and we have our, uh, we have our, uh, this looks like a, this is a two gallon one, huh? Yeah, it's a two gallon sprayer. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go outside real quick. We're gonna throw some material in here. We're gonna see how that spray works because it's so important to make sure that we understand the safety precautions and how to use the unit. Oh yeah, here, wait a minute, I got something right here. Check this out. See, 75% vinegar, 75%. This is not your household stuff. All right, so let's go outside. Since our tank is uh, two gallons and I only want to mix up about one gallon of this vinegar spray, uh, we only fill it up to that one gallon mark. And it's really nice that it's uh, so easily to read on the side over here. Now what we want to do is we want to, uh, well, before going much further, you always want to wear protection. Put your gloves on, really important. You could use chemical gloves if you want. And then of course make eye protection because you never know if you're gonna get any splash back from doing the pouring or the spraying. Uh, you also don't know how the wind is gonna blow. You know, we're on a busy, busy, we're on a very busy street over here. And the, just by the cars coming by, you can get wind or nature itself. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> not a bad idea to be styling when you're out in the garden as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. We have our water in here. We're gonna take and with their 75% vinegar. Uh, two, one of these is good for two gallons, so therefore I'm only gonna put half of what it asks for in here. Now, never, ever, ever spray or look in here and you know, take a whiff. That's horrible. If you wanna smell it, you can go like this, but okay, we wanna pour it in, and by the looks of that, that is half. Now what we do is the fun part. We get to take and we get to spray the weeds. So put your water in first. I like doing that. And then we're gonna mix it up a bit. Now we get to pump. And once you get this going, let me tell you, it's, these things will spray like 25, uh, 25 feet. It, it's amazing. So now, do you see what we did there? Look at that, look how beautiful this is. We're spraying weeds. So we saturated our weeds, it smells like vinegar. And then whenever we need to have more pressure coming out of this thing, we'll just go ahead and we'll pump it up. And on top of that, because these are adjustable, let's see if we can get this picture over here. So we go like this, we can actually go a little spray, or I mean little, a stream, or we could do a spray. All depends on what you're, what you're looking for. And that, is how we rock and roll with a horticultural vinegar sprayer. Remember, only put vinegar in this. It's the absolute best thing to do.